Well, hiya. So, like, asking for a friend, like, how many humans do you think you've eaten? Because I think, like, for me, I thought it would be, like, 0.2, but with recent evidence, it might actually be, like, 4. What? W w why are you staring at me like that? Okay, okay, I don't mean actually intentionally eating them. I mean when you happen to accidentally eat them. Okay, okay, that still doesn't sound right. I mean only the skin. The skin, you know? Wait, okay, okay, so you know how your dead skin cells fall off of you every day or whatever, right? See? See, Google agrees. Agrees. About 30 to 40k skin cells fall off of you every hour. Almost a million a day. I I'm, I'm just gonna believe the first Google search. I, 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 I can't be bothered. <laughs> but I just think it's a funny idea. Like, how many of that one million do you actually ingest? You know, like from putting your finger on your lips, or just from the dust in the wind, or when you eat food. Someone has to prepare the food, and chances are, they aren't using gloves to touch the ingredients all the time. So you're 100% eating some dead skin from someone. Alright? Alright? I'm not crazy. I don't eat live humans. Wait, I- no, wait. I don't eat dead humans either. See, this all started one night at home. I was thinking about this on a dinner table, which was filled with normal non-human filled food, okay? Okay? I asked my sister May, so, uh... How much human have you eaten, you think? And she looks at me like, I regret your entire existence. Completely understandable. Sorry. I intentionally phrased it that way because it's funnier to start a conversation that way, right? Okay? I don't eat humans! So after the talk that night, and a few more months of thinking, I eventually concluded that within 20 to 30 years, accidentally ingesting 0.2 humans made of dead skin cells sounds pretty reasonable, right? Right? But then... In the middle of those few months, I thought about hair. How much hair have you accidentally eaten? And also, what about saliva? Does saliva count as part of a human? You might say, nah, it's just something you produce. But your body technically produces skin cells and hair too. And that's counted as a part of a human. It's a flawless argument. So just for the clickbait, <laughs> Let's just consider saliva equals human. How much saliva and other bodily fluids like phlegm, mucus, etc. would you ingest in a 20 to 30 year period? Between being scared or surprised, being sick, just being thirsty in general, and any other situation where you would be consuming bodily fluids by accident or intentionally, kinky. Hey, hey I, I don't judge. <laughs> so between all of that, like four humans worth? Sounds pretty reasonable, right? So some quick maths here. Let's say you produce one liter of saliva per day, and you consume about 1% of that by accident every day, which is 10 milliliters. Th that, that's a lot of saliva, but uh, stay, stay with me. Multiply that by 365 days, then 20 to 30 years, and you get 73 to 109.5 liters. An average human weighs about 62 kilograms, According to a really fast Google search, one liter equals one kilo. So at most, not even two humans worth of saliva. Ah, much less four. And that's only if you're gulping your saliva down like a madman. <laughs> so I, uh, was, uh, completely wrong? I'm sure the point two dead skin cells is wrong too. I still think it's a funny idea though. Come on, that title, the title's so good. By the way, I did this math really fast and more for comedy. If someone more disciplined would want to go at it, by all means. I would like to know the answer to the question. But that's just a theory. A food th What about babies? Like, how many babies? <laughs> just kidding. Oh, well, that's all I had to say. I'm Victor by the A. I don't eat humans, okay? Bye! This is probably the weirdest video I'll ever make. Ugh. I, I, I really don't eat humans, guys. I don't. Okay, stop. I don't. But like, what about baby? <laughs>